So we're going to try this again. <laughs> um, so this tutorial is going to be based around, or is going to be on SwiftMailer, which is a all-in-one kind of mailing uh, system. It's an improvement on the old PHP mailer. I think it's an improvement anyways. Okay. Uh, you can download it at swiftmailer.org. All right. And we're going to upload it to its own folder. Okay. And uh, you can see it's swift-5.0.1. All right. We're going to get our contact form open and our email form open. Or our email page. All right. And so what we'll do is We'll go through this already, so I'll start again. All right. Um, so on the contact page, you'll see uh, we have a name, email, and a message. Pretty simple stuff. And you can expand these as you go if you want. All right. But the first thing we're going to do is grab our post data. Um, we're going to Create our email body message. And we're going to use some basic concatenation, PHP concatenation with this one. All right, then we're going to create the transport. And then we're going to create the mailer. And then we're going to send the message. All right, those are our basic, basic steps. All right. And so what we got here, um, all right, sorry, but that was thinking about something else. Okay, so the post data and what we're going to use to do is going to, our, basically our sanitization is going to be using filter, oops, not filter, has var, filter var. There we go. And this is going to be filter sanitize string. And we're going to use name. Oops. All right, and then this is going to be email. Email. Message. Message. And then this is going to be filter sanitize email because it's got its uh, PHP has its own built in uh, email sanitization. All right. And so now we're going to go down to the body of the email. We're going to do name, oops, name colon space. I'm just going to do basic concatenation. All right, so dot uh, email. That's it for that. All right. And now we're going to do the transport. And a lot of this, uh, what's really nice about SwiftMailer is that a lot of this, the, all of these functions are predefined. And basically, you just have to use their, their call name. Transport new instance. And it takes three values. The first value is the email server you're going to use. The second value is the port. The third value is the encryption type. Okay. Then we're going to use their method constructing uh, All right. 
and obviously you're going to want to use your own super high, super highly secure password. Uh, I made this up just for the tutorial, so don't worry, don't bother. It's going to be changed by the time the tutorial hits uh, hits YouTube. So, all right, now we're down to the mailer, uh, and this is going to be another one of the uh, built-in calls. New instance. I call it transport. There we go. And we set the message. Now we'll just call it web lead. All right, so now the message itself is going to include several construct headers, construct headers. All right, and from here we're going to do a set from. That's going to be an array. Again, it's an array. Um, you can use just one if you want. Uh, I might as well use two of them. recipients okay all right uh, next we're going to set the subject now you can uh, if you want to you can put you can create a subject form uh, and let it and let the user create the subject the email to me I don't really like that idea I like to be able to, to be organized and I want to be able to see where it's coming from so I just I set the subject hard-coded to web lead from wherever all right. All right, and then basically now we're going to set the body. All right, and that's going to be simple. It's going to be the data string, comma, and then basically we're just letting it know that it's text slash HTML. All right, and that's the end of that construct. And then now we've got our. Uh, basically our function that will send the message and we'll call this result send that message whoops send it on okay what am I missing here That's why. All right. So now um, I'm logged into the leads. So we can go ahead and do a test. All right, and if we look in here, we should see in our sent mail. There we go. That means that it was sent, and there's our form. Okay, 
So, um, although something is amiss here because we're not seeing. The body. Oh, here's why. I call it body instead of data. <laughs> yep, that was silly. All right, so let's re rewind and do this again. And say. All right, submit. All right, we'll go back. All right, and there's name, email, and message. Okay, so we're halfway there. Um, name, email, message. Those are right. So data. All right, let me troubleshoot this real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so after rebuilding this, uh, apparently there's a problem with the post data. I, I probably misspelled the sanitized string. But now if we go back, do our test again. Click Submit. back to our site, click on leads. There we go. Now we get our post value. All right. Uh, so that's it. Uh, that's SwiftMailer in a nutshell. And uh, really for only a handful of lines of code, um, it's pretty solid. So I have to I have to again thank uh, Optical Effects for turning me on to uh, SwiftMailer and basically you know, helping me out through this. So thanks again. And thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful to you and hopefully you can get this set up in your site. And don't forget to leave a comment if you like or subscribe if you like as well. Thank you.